hi there guys i've meant to do this video long back but i have to do it now a lot of you guys have been calling me some have been sending message i want to move back to zimbabwe and i'm going to give you 10 reasons why you should move back to zimbabwe i've been staying here for about two months now and i am going to give you 10 reasons so let's get into them all right reason number one reason number one is transport is fairly cheap this side comparing especially to those that are staying in south africa transport is fairly cheap here in zimbabwe let's make a comparison you want to take a lift from tembisa to town how much are you gonna pay and how much are you paying this side mostly if you are paying you are paying something around 10 15 rand uh depending on where you are now that the petrol uh, has gone up everywhere but here it's normally one dollar when it's off peak price goes down you pay something like 50 cents per trip uh like from where i stay i pay 50 cents to go to town which is pretty much like eight rand that you can pay uh at any given time whether you are from Tembisa, you are from Soshanguve or wherever you are, Kailisha to town. It's a different story. In most cases, transport does not take you straight where you want to go. You have to maybe navigate around or I mean take two taxis to go to work. So transport is number one. It's cheaper this side. Dollar or your 50 cents depending on where you are going or which place are you working. And most people, they don't really work they go to do business in town. Reason number two is rent is fairly cheap in Harare or even other outskirts, be it in other towns that are outside Harare. It's fairly cheap. In Harare, you are looking at a room. You can rent a room for around 30, between 30 to 60 dollars um, in suburbs, low to medium density suburbs. It's between that price range, between 30 to 60 or 70. If it is expensive but you can't get that in tembisa you can't get that in Sosha. you have to pay something like 700 800 to a thousand for a room if it is 700 probably it's a room it's actually a cook or something like that so that is the price that you pay here and for me it's fairly affordable so rent is fairly affordable you can get a full house for around 250 dollars uh to 300 dollars so that's it on rent you pay a little bit less than you are paying for an apartment in south africa so that is another reason why you should come back here you can afford the rent that you are paying wherever you are paying so and i've not seen what you do what we do in, in job back whereby you are divided by curtains and all of that i've not seen i've not heard about it here so you live you get a cheaper rent but also it will be decent for you to survive i've not heard that in town that somebody's they are dividing a curtain so let's come to reason number three you have constant electricity i know load shedding is there in south africa as much as it is here in zimbabwe but what you then get in zimbabwe compared to south africa is that your augmentation to electricity or the alternatives to electricity are fairly cheaper here why is it that the solar things the solar systems that you need for you to have your day go by cheaper here than it is in south africa in south africa it was in solar was not like something that was in huge demand so um but here the solar was in huge demand because we started having load shedding way back in around 2002 2003 way back so as time went by people realizing that we need alternative uh, energy and we need solar we need to augment what we have people started getting off the grid it made the influx of solar systems to be more in zimbabwe so the demand was there but then the market has flooded with solar systems you go into town everywhere you go there are solar systems um, shops that are selling everything to do with solar beat your radio all those things that you need so you can get off the grid with pretty much something like six hundred dollars you can get off the grid uh with your batteries and other stuff there are companies that are offering that uh, unfortunately nobody if i uh, buy approached to do a partnership on this video but if you are there you are doing solar systems you can actually leave a comment below so that somebody can contact you if they want to move to zimbabwe then this is number four you don't have to come here and look for a job if you are coming to look for a job you are going to be disappointed so 
you don't have to come here and look for a job come here to look for business come to look for something to do yes there are others who want to be in the corporate you can get a job offer and but the issue that is there is that any little opening in the market somebody is going to grab it so when you come here maybe you have connections or something but you come here you look for a business something that you can do business opportunities are plenty there are plenty you can come here and start something if you have a bit of disposable income come and start something that is what is going to guarantee you that you have food on the table at the end of the day five reason number five is that food is fairly cheap here what makes food cheaper is that there is a lot of people that are growing their own food for example you buy everything that you need in south africa you have to buy which is food which is a milli meal but here you find there is a I mean, you buy a, a bucket of, of uh, maize and then you can go and guy such baggy chocho and you can actually get good milli meal. So those are the things that you need to, that makes food cheaper. So your milli meal is fairly cheaper here because you get a 12,5, 420, 135 uh, runs. Um, that same price, you can actually buy a bucket, which is your 20 kg. Um, and you can actually have milli meal for the whole month, which is raw milli meal. So it's more healthier for you than it is for you to live there so food is fairly cheap i uh, give another comparison of peanut butter i buy a black cat peanut butter smaller i don't know how, how many meals is it but it's not even close to 375 meals i buy it for 22 to uh, 27 rand but that same i buy dollar 50 for two 375 meals which is pretty much 750 meals of peanut butter raw peanut butter no nothing no additives just raw peanut butter which is more healthy so you get healthier food that you buy cheap so what more do you want you're going to live healthier and as much as you'd say there there is pretty much premium food but it is more dangerous to your health than it is this side so food is fairly cheap even if you could make a comparison of your beverages i was making a comparison of beverages pepsi or coke you buy a bottle of coke here it's much cheaper than it is in south africa make your own comparison and you tell me you see that it is actually cheaper here in zimbabwe than it is in south africa even your cooking oil uh, and all that and there are a lot of alternatives that you can find on the market so that is also reason number five reason number six there's a lot of freedom to do things as a citizen uh some of you you know that there are things that you limit you because you are a non-south african citizen and you cannot do them if especially you are in the middle income Anna, or you are in, there are some limitations you go to the bank they say bring your id you do want to do this want to apply for a even a loan they tell you we cannot do that to a citizen you want to go and uh, even get a cell phone contract they do it only to citizens so those are these there are other things that you that are accrued to you as a citizen that you can do because you are a citizen of Zimbabwe. You can do and that freedom to do things and the fresh of breath air that you have here when you come here, you feel like you don't have to be like me personally. I feel it, it feels awkward. I don't know to those that have just moved. It feels awkward when I hear somebody speaking Shona, which which was something that was strange because every time when I go out, I have to know that. Said I have to speak to communicate with someone in English or in Shona in in Isizulu or Sutu or something. All the time. You have to know that you are going out there and speaking, you are not speaking your mother language. Unless if you are going into a Shona speaking community like me when I was in Zayoja or when I was in other churches, the way they are speaking Shona, that's when I would know that, oh, the Sangana Nima Shona, I have to speak Shona. So these are some of the advantages that you feel when you are here that there is a bit of freedom to do things uh you can start your own shop there you can start your own thing there there's not a lot of uh paperwork that you have to undergo through for you to start your own business here reason number seven is what i've already alluded uh, back then that there is opportunity in farming opportunity in farming what i mean by that is that you can come here and do farming in a rural area you can go do, do farming at your own backyard you can do farming in town uh, there are places where people are actually planting their maize meal and then they harvest and it can actually take them for months without having to worry about buying milling meal. so you have, can do farming in the city you can actually do farming in the rural area and you can grow your own food and you can live by it that is also another reason why you need to come back home and 
leaf. Reason number eight is that distances are quite shorter from one place to the other. Uh, I think it ties in with point number one where I was saying that transport is quite cheap, which makes it easier if you want to have a business deal with someone, even if you are not mobile, you can still conduct business with anyone. Let's meet in town. Just uh, go on the street and you you, you get a, a, a combi that takes you to town. You want to meet someone Pamereki, one combi around about from where I'm coming from and one another combi to Pamereki or Mshika Shika. So the distances are quite easier for you to navigate around if you want to do business. Maybe you are doing business whereby you have to do deliveries. It's much easier and cheaper for you to do deliveries around um, Harare catchment area. So that is another reason why you need to move back here. If you are going to be selling some things online, these are some of the things that you can also uh, consider that the distances are quite cheaper if you are driving around the last point is schools are fairly affordable if you're a family man like me schools are fairly affordable for you to to move your kids from where they are in south africa and what is the main reason why schools are quite affordable our economy um has made it quite easy for people to lower down school fees because it's got three terms whereas in most places in other places you have to pay a monthly your monthly fees if you are taking kids to primary school or even to secondary school you have to pay your monthly uh because they have to pay uh the kids but so for private schools you find out that you only pay on a monthly basis if you are taking your kid to grade ara or those young grades but for schools they pay you normally pay per term so this they range normally around private schools they range normally around 120 to 300 or even to 400 dollars depending on your pocket but i'm just saying that you go to government schools they are ranging around around 40 dollars to 100 dollars for me these are the 10 reasons the one bonus reason that i want you to understand which is reason number 10 you can come here and register to vote and 2023 is around the corner you and i need part of the registering to vote we can be told by the, by the South Africans that go back and fix your country. What are we fixing? We're coming here to register to vote in our numbers because the numbers that are in South Africa are diminishing the numbers that are here. So it will be a disadvantage. So come guys, let's register to vote. You can come here and go to Makombe building and register to vote. Go on, on the ZEC website. They will show you the places that you can vote, the districts that you are voting. And the Blitz registration is coming up. Uh, I'm not sure which the dates, but I will let you know once it is up so that everyone else can go out there and register to vote. And you don't have to live in fear, guys, that I have to speak Spedia, I have to speak Sitwana, I have to speak Venda, I have to speak uh, Songa or anything. So these are some of the things you can come here and do. And the other point is that... Um, Guys, this has nothing to do with politics or who you support or whatever. It has everything to do with you coming home. If we don't fix our own country, who else is going to fix it? From whichever political divide you are, we have to come here and fix our own country. We look at all these countries that we admire and see they are good. It's Netherlands, be it USA. The people, the indigenous people of that country, they put their hands together and decided to work their country. China, look at China. They put their hands together and worked on that country. So it needs you and I. Let's put our hands together and come back home and build our own country. This is all that I have to say to you. If you have any questions you want to know how you can move here if you want looking for accommodation please get in touch let's connect let's talk about that if you want to move back to zimbabwe i'll be helping guys who are wanting to move back whilst there's still time when there is no helter skelter of being chased in south africa on that note i am out and i'll see you on the next video